We're following some breaking news out of Hawaii. 12 military personnel are feared dead after two marine helicopters collided off the coast of Oahu. The Coast Guard is coordinating the search. Earlier, we spoke with Steve Uihara, morning anchor from Hawaii News Now. We're still gathering details, and we have a number of crews out in the field. But like you mentioned, 12 people are still missing after two Marine Corps helicopters crashed. This is just off the north shore of Oahu, the main island on our chain this morning. Debris field, it's about eight miles just off of Haleiwa, so it's moving. About an hour ago, it's just two miles off the coast. That debris field itself, it's about a mile long. And according to the Coast Guard, crews discovered a life raft with no one on board and visible flames on the water. Now, this call came in at about 11.38 last night night our time, so that's about 4.38 East Coast time. And we still haven't heard back from the Marine Corps yet. They did, though, tweet out that an active search and rescue is underway just off of Oahu. Now, we believe these to be super stallion helicopters that collided. But here's what's adding to the urgency today. There's a high surf advisory in effect for our islands. Waves are expected to be huge. We're talking 30 to 40 feet. Again, we don't know what caused the collision or if any survivors have been found, but we are staying on top of this throughout the morning. Steve, you mentioned that these helicopters are believed to be super stallions. Why is that? Well, the Marine Corps, they, they confirmed that the choppers are from the first Marine aircraft wing, uh, aircraft wing out of Kaneohe Bay. And a few years ago, uh, the super stallions were brought in to replace the sea stallions that were used at that location. Now, the Marine Corps hasn't confirmed this, uh, but that's just us putting two and two together. All right, Steve Uyehara from Hawaii News Now. Thank you so much. Thank you, guys.